Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So here is the package, untouched, unblemished, unharmed. This is the beautiful box. Isn't it pretty? It says long wear to strong wear. Um, this is NARS first 16 hour fade resistant foundation ranging from deep espresso to the fairest tones. And it's available December 14th at NARS Boutiques and NARS Cosmetics. And then it's available on Sephora on December 26th. It claims to have 16 hour fade resistant wear. I'm not gonna wear it for all 16 hours because it's already 12 o'clock and if I were to wear it for 16 hours, I'd wear it till like four in the morning. So that's not gonna work. I'm gonna wear it until 11 o'clock tonight and I will come back and show you guys what it looks like at 11 o'clock. Transfer resistant, sweat resistant, resists oxidization. So it does not oxidize. Um, it has a medium to full buildable coverage. Raspberry, apple, and watermelon extracts in it to help support skin elastic fibers and improve skin texture. Okay. It's full coverage without the weight and it has 33 skin matching shades. So it has a translucent base, micronized amino acid coated pigments and mineral tone balance powders that mimic the skin tone for the closest match. It has little sample sizes of all of the foundations colors and then they sent me three shades that they thought would match me from my pictures. Apparently my pictures make me look really dark because the foundations that they sent me are really dark. These are the three foundation shades that they sent me and they're like all up here. I normally have like a yellow, olivey, caramel undertone in my skin, okay? So the two shades that I picked out that I felt like would be the best shade for moi, Moria and Caracas. These are the two shades that I think that I'm closest to. My shade match at, at Sephora says I'm Cadiz, and Cadiz is right in between these two, so I don't know if Cadiz will work, but I'm gonna swatch all three of them so you guys can see. Um, I don't have anything on my face right now. I'm not going to be putting on any primer because I want you guys to see how the foundation wears without a primer. This is Caracas. This is the more warm one, so it's got a little bit of red. I'm gonna paint this. down my face that's Moria one is a little more warm and the other is a little more yellow <sighs> I don't know let me try Cadiz yeah Cadiz Cadiz is a little too pink I think that's how that blends out Eh, I think Caracas might be too pink. Cadiz is kind of like right in the middle, but it's still a little pink. And then Moria is, it's pretty yellow, but I think that Moria is the best match for me. Mix them all together and you get the perfect blend. So it's covering pretty well though. You see how that just covered that dark spot? Let's see if it covers this up here. Wow, the coverage is actually really good on this foundation. I'm gonna do Moria all over the face and see how that looks. So I'm gonna use this brush. This is the uh, Full Coverage Foundation by Smashbox. Yeah, I'm really liking how this one looks on my skin. It's kind of yellow, but once I highlight and contour and everything, I think this will look really nice. Moria, am I saying that right? Moria's got a really nice golden olivey undertone. I'm gonna add a little bit more just to see how it builds. Yeah, this foundation reminds me a lot of the Fenty foundation. It kind of has that like blurring effect. Doesn't have a smell too much. So this is what the foundation looks like up close. Looking pretty good, guys. It's not matte, so I'm not getting matte vibes. I feel like any skin type could could get away with this. It's a good foundation for like all skin types. So now I'm going to do the rest of my face, share with you guys my final thoughts about the foundation, and then I will show you guys the bottles and you know talk about the packaging and all of that. So I will be back. All right, so I finished my makeup. It is now two o'clock. Um, I'm going to let this sink into my skin for about a good nine hours. 
and then I will come back and let you guys know what I think about it. Um, but all in all, after putting on the rest of my face and kind of seeing how it works with my other products, the foundation's beautiful. I really didn't expect it to be bad or terrible or move around or anything. I have really high hopes for NARS makeup because I love all of their foundations. I've tried most of them, I think, except for the stick foundation. Um, I previously have owned the All Day Luminous Whitelist and I currently own the Sheer Glow Foundation, um, which looks like this. This is the Sheer Glow in the color Macau. It looks really yellow. This is actually one ounce and this is one ounce as well. So as you can see, these two foundations are exactly the same size. This one is longer um, and the other one is shorter and more pudgy. Uh, this bottle is very beautiful. It's like a, a glass bottle um, and it does come with a pump unlike the Sheer Glow Foundation, which does not come with a pump. So I'm glad that this does because then you don't have to actually go out and purchase a pump to put on it. I think the foundation runs for around $40. At least that's how much I paid for the Sheer Glow and the All Day Luminous. Um, I don't expect it to be any lower than 40. Um, because it's a NARS foundation, it's a high-end foundation. There are not a lot of foundations on the market that specialize in yellow, golden undertones. I believe NARS has a really good shade range um, and I'm all here for it. So, and they're just really lightweight and easy to wear, perfect for every day. Yeah, I really like it. It looks absolutely beautiful. I do feel naturally radiant, you know, so there's that. Yeah, that's my first initial thoughts about the foundation. I will definitely come back and show you guys what my foundation looks like later on. I don't plan on going anywhere or doing anything crazy, so I probably won't have a whole bunch of oil on my face, but we'll see how it holds up for a good 10 hours. That is all. I will come back later and show you guys the results of how long it lasted and if it's really long wearing like it says it is. Is this thing on? Uh, what time is it? 10.36. I'm ready to take my makeup off. Hopefully you guys can see me. Let me bring this a little closer. Makeup held up well. Um, it looks pretty good from what I can tell. I'm not shiny. Um, I blocked one time because I filmed another video today, but that was a couple hours ago. That was like around six o'clock, seven o'clock. So no creasing or of any kind. I mean, it looks really, really good. So especially considering I do not have on a primer i don't have any complaints at all it feels like i have nothing on my skin um so that gives the thumbs up for me um i did notice in pictures that the area where i did put the other color of the foundation what color was that caracas it didn't really match up with the rest of my face um and i don't like the way it looks in pictures so i think i'm gonna stick with moria if that's the way if i don't know if i'm saying that right moria mora if you guys have any questions let me know um i'm gonna go take my makeup off because i'm tired <laughs> i need to go if you guys have any suggestions for foundations that you think i should try and do in a foundation friday let me know and i will kick those off in january of 2018 so um yeah you guys have a blessed day a happy friday I'll talk to you later, okay? Peace out.